A blessed evening, brothers and sisters from our church here at Gospel of Grace Community Church. We would like to welcome all our brethren, uh, mga taga dito po sa Baguio, mga taga La Trinidad, even yun pong mga brethren natin sa Ifugao, ang mga brethren po natin sa Bayambang at sa Kamiling. And kung meron pa po tayong ibang mga kapatirang nanonood from other places in the lowlands, we also would like to uh, welcome you and thank the Lord for each one's uh, participation tonight here at our prayer watch. Mga kapatid, sa Revelation chapter 4, ang sabi po rito that whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to Him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before Him who sits on the throne and worship Him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive Glory, honor, and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. There is nothing like finding ourselves in our rightful position, and that is as creatures and as the redeemed sons and daughters of the Lord. We find ourselves in the position, the, the blessed position of praising and Worshipping and glorifying the one who sits on the throne forever and ever. There are so many things that are taking place in our world today. And yet, it gives us great peace and assurance in our hearts, brethren, that God who sits on the throne forever and ever is worthy of our highest praises. So sa oras po na ito, mga kapatid, tayo pong lahat ay sabay-sabay na umawit ng pagpupuri po sa atin pong Panginoon. Burdens 
Father in heaven, we entrust our time together that you will indeed be glorified, O Lord. Father God, in our hearts be enthroned. Father God, remind us, O Lord, of our calling, of our divine purpose, Lord, for our lives. And we pray, Lord, that through your word, Lord, we will be guided, we will be Lord, instructed, Lord, on how to conduct our affairs here on earth, O Lord. Father God, in such a way, O Lord, that you will indeed be seen, O Lord. You will indeed be magnified. Salamat po, Panginoon. Papasalamat kami sa gagawin niyo po sa gabi pong ito, Panginoon. At anuman, Panginoon, ang aming pong Lord, ang aming pong dinadala sa, in- sa aming mga puso, ang lahat ng ito ay aming Isinusuko po, Lord God, sa inyong harapan sa mga oras na to. Salamat pong muli, Panginoon. Pagpalain niyo po ang aming pong panahon o Diyos ng pakikinig ng inyong salita at pananalangin po mamaya. Sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Tonight po, mga kapatid, ay tatapusin po natin yung 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. We have already... Uh, Uh, discuss that the Lord is our wisdom, He is our uh, righteousness, and that the Lord is our sanctification. Now, tonight's exhortation is also uh, very timely because it's Holy Week. And because the message tonight is connected to uh, resurrection and our text And our title for the text tonight is that the Lord is our redemption. So again, let me read to you 1 Corinthians 1.30. But by His doing, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. Redemption means to be set free. All right? It means to be delivered. Okay? It means to rescue and deliver a person from a situation in which one is powerless to liberate himself. And brethren, here in this text in 1 Corinthians 1.30, redemption appears last in the list because it is the first gift of Christ to be begun in us, and it is also the last to be brought to completion. Okay? It is also the last to be brought to completion. Why? Because... Redemption, in its full sense, it has something to do with the redemption of our bodies. Okay? Kaya sabi ko po kanina, ito ay connected sa resurrection message po natin sa linggo. It is the redemption of our bodies. You see, our redemption not only talks about deliverance from the guilt of sin. 
We all know that that when we when we uh, talk of Christ as our Redeemer, we talk of Him as the one who has uh, set us free from the punishment penalty of sin from the wrath of God. He has rescued us, paid the ransom price for our sins. He has redeemed us. But being created by God according to His image and likeness, God created us with both body and soul. So full redemption is not just the redemption of our soul, all right? But full redemption extends to the body Okay, it extends to the body. Yung po mismo ang ating physical po na pangangatawan, ito po mismo ay iriridim po ng Panginoon. It is not just deliverance from all evil, but also a full enjoyment of all that is good, both in body and soul. Alright? I remember what Andrew Murray said. Sabi niya, in the angels, God had created spirits without material bodies. In the creation of the world, there was matter without spirit. But man was to be the highest specimen of divine art, the combination in one being of matter and spirit in perfect harmony. We are not like angels who, are, uh, who have spirits but no physical bodies. We're not like the inanimate, ano po, like the mountains, all right? The creation of this world, the rocks, na there is matter but there is no life. But in our case, brethren, we, are, we have physical bodies. We are made up of both matter and spirit at the same time. And our spirit, our soul is actually eternal it is actually forever no at yung, ang tanong na lang po ay kung saved po ang ating soul we will go to the lord in heaven but if our soul is unsaved then we will face condemnation we will face judgment apart from the saving work of christ in 1 corinthians 1:30 it says that the lord is our redemption bakit po kaya because complete redemption is found embodied in the person of Christ himself. The body that Christ had when he was on earth is the same body. Yun nga lang mang po, it is curse-free, it is glorified, alright, that he now has in heaven. The Lord's resurrected body has now entered into glory. Wala pa pong nakakapunta sa langit. All right, with a resurrected body, except our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus has triumphed over death. That is the proof that we too will also have a full redemption. Amen? We too will have a full redemption. Christ's resurrection was an earnest. Ang ibig sabihin po na it was an earnest, no? Kung baga po, uh, ito na po yung pinaka-proof na kung ano po si Christ at ano po ang, ang nangyari sa Kanya. Ayun din po ang mangyayari po sa atin. Jesus' body was resurrected and we too, our bodies too, will be redeemed. Amen? Our bodies too will be redeemed. We too in both the body and soul, therefore shall ever be with the Lord. Amen? We too in both body and soul will ever be with the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 1, it says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in Him with the seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of His glory. Brethren, it says in this verse that because we heard the message of truth and that is the gospel of our salvation, we believed, we believed the gospel. We turned our lives to the Lordship and the saving grace of Christ. Because we have believed, tayo po ay 
minarkahan na po ng Panginoon na isa po tayo sa mga yaon na i-redeem ng Diyos. Our bodies. Ano po? We will be redeemed, not just soul, but both body and soul. We will be redeemed by Christ to be God's possession to the praise of His glory. It also says in Ephesians 4.30, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Ito po ang atin pong pinakaiintay, intay, the day of redemption. Because the Holy Spirit dwells now in us as the pledge that even our mortal bodies shall be redeemed. Ito po ang reason kung bakit alam po natin na tayo po ay tunay na magkakaroon ng redemption both body and soul because God already sealed us with the Holy Spirit. God already has put has put his spirit in us as a pledge. Ano po? It is a pledge. It is a deposit that we expect to be redeemed one day. Amen. Both body and soul. Let us also not forget that it's by the power of the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. In Romans 8, it says, And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of His Spirit who lives in you. The Spirit of Christ lives in us, and it is the Spirit of Christ who raised Him from the dead. And that is why we have 100% assurance that we will one day experience and witness our 100% redemption, both body and soul. Let me share to you this story. There was an uncle who took his young nephew to swim in the ocean when the boy was suddenly attacked by a shark. Biting him so hard, it completely severed his leg. With great courage, the uncle grabbed a baseball bat, jumped into the water with the shark, and clubbed it until the shark released his nephew's detached leg. Alam niyo po kung ginawa po nung uncle. He picked up his nephew and the severed leg and raced to the hospital. The doctors were able to successfully reattach the leg and his nephew was able to walk again. Now, ang sabi po rito sa illustration po na ito, that this picture is a good example of what redemption means. Bakit po? It is winning back what was lost. Okay? It is winning back what was lost. Infinitely greater is our redemption by Christ. So we can win back. We can regain what we have lost because of our sins. Amen? We will regain what we have lost because of our sins. And Christ won this back at Calvary by the price of His own blood. Amen po? Our redemption is won by Christ at Calvary by His death on the cross. Henry Rieta Mir said, Redemption is the most glorious work of God. It is greater far than His work of creation. He spoke a word and worlds were formed. But it cost Him the life of His beloved Son to redeem the world. So brothers and sisters, redemption is such a huge word. All right? Sometimes we read about these things, no? part siya ng teaching, part siya ng doctrine, pero hindi na po natin na-appreciate kung gano'ng kalaki ano po, yung meaning ng salitang redemption. At yan po, mga kapatid, ang kailangan-kailangan po ng atin pong daigdig po ngayon. We need redemption. No? This world needs to be redeemed. Creation needs to be redeemed. Men and women need to be redeemed ano po, because of sin. And there is no other name by which we can be saved. We can be redeemed, all right, both in body and soul. The only person who can redeem us, who can redeem us for eternity, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, we are all groaning 
right now under our physical bodies. Tama po. Ngayon, damang-dama natin yung kahinaan, damang-dama po natin yung uh, epekto ng sin sa katawan natin. Ano po? Our body, our physical bodies are fallen. Napakadali nating magkasakit. Ano po? Napakadali po nating uh, maka-experience ng fatigue, exhaustion, and it's all because our bodies, this is already under the curse of sin. Okay? Our, this is no longer the body that Adam and Eve uh, had when they were when they were first created prior to their fall ano po their bodies at the time it was they were perfect no they were they were sickness free but now because of sin ang mga katawan po natin ay 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 sakitin ano po ang mga katawan po natin ay nabubulok tumatanda every day we are aging every day we are wasting away Sino po kaya ang makakasolve ng atin pong aging at ng atin pong pagkakasakit? Wala pong sino mang uh, doktor, wala pong anumang klasing gamot, supplements, ano po, o ospital ang maaring makaredeem dun po sa pagiging fallen ng ating katawan. We suffer in sickness and we are worn out by labor and age. Brethren, hindi natin po mapipigilan ang pagtanda po natin. Amen? tatanda at tatanda po tayo no wala pong makakapigil po doon ngunit mga kapatid the lord is our redemption means that we are not to be discouraged okay we are not to be discouraged how many of you are probably feeling quite low because of sickness feeling quite low maybe because uh, recently uh, Siguro ikaw ay naoperahan. Siguro ikaw ay you lost a loved one because of sickness. Let us not be discouraged because these bodies of ours will one day be redeemed by God. It will be curse-free. It will be glorified. It will be immortal. It will be perfect. Ano po? It will be like that of our Lord Jesus Christ when He was resurrected. That is why the Lord is our redemption. Amen? He is our redemption. The fact that Jesus Christ has been resurrected and He now as, he has ascended and, and is now sitting at the right hand of God, we can look forward to being with the Lord one day in both body and soul. In heaven, brethren, we will enjoy a perfect communion with the saints. We shall be conversing with angels and we will sit down and enjoy good food with Abraham, Moses, David, and all the saints. And the greatest of all, we shall all see God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We shall see them with our eyes for all eternity. Indeed, redemption will lead to an everlasting rest and happiness. Amen po. Redemption will lead to an everlasting rest and happiness. Sabi nga po sa 1 Corinthians 2, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. Brethren, wag po nating ilagay lahat ang ating hope dito sa mundong ito. Wag po nating ilagay lahat ng ating pag-asa sa daigdig na to because this world will one day be gone. But what is most important is we are not part of the world that is going to be condemned. Rather, we are part of those who will be redeemed because the Lord is our redemption. So ano po ang isang ang pupwede nating makitang aplikasyon po nito sa, para po sa atin ngayon. Brethren, we are to be patient when we are going through suffering. Okay? We are to be patient when we are going through suffering. In Romans 8, it says in verse 18 and following, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who His children really are. 
Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in the glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we believers also groan. Even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory, for we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as His adopted children, including the new bodies He has promised us. We were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Brothers and sisters, tayo po ay dumadaan sa iba't ibang uri po ng discouragements, trials, difficulties, challenges, sufferings. But let us not lose sight of our future redemption. God will one day give us Total, full redemption. Not just the forgiveness and the deliverance from our sins, but He will give us new bodies. Amen po? He will give us new bodies. And we shall be with God forever and ever, both in body and soul. Just as Jesus Christ right now is with God, both in body and spirit in heaven. Amen po? The saving work of our Redeemer shall one day be fully revealed. And therefore, right now, let us be patient and let us be confident that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Sabi nga po ng 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Let us therefore be steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord, because our labor in the Lord is not in vain. The Lord is our redemption. Amen po. Tayo po ngayon, mga kapatid, ay umawit muli ng pagsamba sa ating pong Panginoon as we continue to meditate on this precious truth that God is our redemption. Yeah. 
ay pumasok sa panahon ng pananalangin, uh, muli nagpapasalamat tayo sa Diyos sa kanya pong mga answered prayers sa atin pong kalagitnaan. We thank the Lord for uh, how He has moved last Saturday sa ating apologetics at sa atin din pong Sunday service at nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon sa patuloy niyang uh, paggalaw at pagkilos sa atin pong mga buhay. Let's pray to the Lord for one of our sisters in Christ who requests for prayer. Sister Nadja from Ifugao is requesting for prayer sa kanila pong uh, intention na magbukas pong muli ng kanila pong coffee shop. Okay? So, let's pray for that. And then, uh, last week ay naoperahan po si Brother Eric, one of our men folk. At pag-pray po natin yung kanyang healing at full recovery at ang, God's, ang will ng Panginoon para sa buhay ni Brother Eric. At magkakaroon din po tayo ng Resurrection Sunday ngayon pong darating na uh, linggo. At so pag-pray po natin ang services po sa both Bayambang and Baguio. At by the way, meron po pala tayong mga kapatid na Galilean uh, brunch this coming Sunday. All right. So after the service, uh, we will be serving brunch. All right. So uh, instead of breakfast, uh, we will serve that br- breakfast uh, after the service. Let's also pray for uh, our church, for the Lord to use the members of Gospel of Grace for His glory, as salt and light, for the righteousness, for righteousness to thrive. Let's pray for God's will for each one's life's calling and purpose. And of course, patuloy po nating ipagdasal sa Panginoon ang situation po sa Russia, Ukraine at ang atin pong uh, country. Pag-pray rin po natin. Of course, ang atin pong elections. Tayo pong lahat mga kapatid ay dubulog po sa ating Panginoon sa oras na ito. Father, our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for Lord, our prayer watch. At ito po kaming muli, Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat, nag, nagpupuri po sa inyo. Father God, we take this time, O Lord, to worship you and to honor you, Lord. We take this time to remember who our God is. We take this time to remember, Lord, that you are, Lord, that you are powerful, that you are eternal, Lord Jesus, that you are awesome in all of your attributes, O God, that you are the one, Lord, who is omniscient, O Lord God. You are the one who knows all things past, present, and future, O Lord, all at once. At tunay, Panginoon, patuloy po kaming namamangha, Panginoon, na pagbulay-bulayan namin, Panginoon, kung gaano po kayo, Lord God, kadakila, kung gaano po kayo, Panginoon, O Diyos, kataas, Panginoon, Lord, you are great, and you are greatly, Lord God, to be praised, O Lord. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. Tinataas namin kayo, Diyos. Pinapapurihan po namin kayo, Lord. Niluluwalhati po namin kayo, Panginoon, ang inyo pong banal na pangalan, O Lord God. We take this time to honor you, Lord. We take this time to bless you, Father God. Salamat, Panginoong Jesus. Lord, kami po'y lumalapit sa mga sandaling ito, O Diyos. Papasalamat kami, Panginoon, for granting us our prayers, Lord God, and your faithfulness, Lord, to each one of us, your faithfulness to your ministry, Lord God, your faithfulness, O Lord Jesus, to your body, your faithfulness, O Lord, even to our nation, to our country. Father in heaven and right now, O Lord, as we pray, we continue to ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. 
We pray, Lord Jesus, that each one of us, O Lord, would be able to intercede in accordance, Lord God, to your will. Samahan niyo po kaming lahat at i-guide niyo po ang aming po mga pananalangin, O Lord. Panginoon, tinataas po namin sa inyo, una sa lahat, ang aming po mga kapatid na nangangailangan ng mga prayers, Lord. Tinataas namin si Sister Nadja sa inyo, Lord, na mihingi po, Panginoon, ng inyo pong favor para sa kanilang nais na itayo at uh, itayo na negosyo, Panginoon, O Lord, sa kanila pong pag, uh, uh, pagbibuild ng kanilang coffee shop, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, na sa lahat ng kanila pong mga kakailanganin, sila po, Lord God, ay inyo pong paboran. Dalangin namin, Lord, na lahat ng kanilang kakailanganin, Panginoon, ay Lord tunay na ma-provide, Panginoon, para po sa kanilang business na ito. Nawa, Lord God, ang business na ito ay magamit upang ma-provide ang kanilang mga pangangailangan. Magamit po ito, Panginoon, Lord, sa mga... Lord, sa mga mabibigyan po ng mga jobs, O oh Lord God, through their staff, O oh Lord. Gamit po ito, Panginoon, as a testimony, O oh Lord God, Panginoon, of your faithfulness. Grant them, Lord, the uh, wisdom and creativity, O oh Lord God, sa kanila pong pagbibuild, O oh Lord, ng kanila pong business na ito. Salamat po, Panginoon. We commit also to you, Sister Nadja, and her entire family in Fugao. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that they are continuing in your word, that they are continuing in their faith, and we pray for them, O Lord God, that they will indeed, O Lord, Father God, be uh, established in the center of your will, and Lord, may their lives bring glory to your name. Thank you, Father in heaven. We pray also, Lord, for Brother Eric, Lord, who got operated on last week. We pray for his healing, Lord. We pray for his full recovery. And most of all, dinadalangin po namin, Lord, ang direction ninyo po sa buhay ni Brother Eric, Lord God, that, Lord, you will use this situation right now, Lord God, for Brother Eric's heart, O Lord, to be sobered, Father in heaven, to, Lord, have a stronger faith in you, Lord, a deeper love and obedience, Lord God, to you. We pray for Brother Eric, Lord. May your perfect will be done in his life, O Lord. You know, O Lord, Brother Eric in his entire person. And Lord, we truly pray, O Lord, na Panginoon, siya ipangunahan niyo po, O Diyos. Siya, Panginoon, ay palakasin niyo po, Panginoon. Sa kanyang pangangatawan at pangalakasin niyo rin po siya, Panginoon, O Lord, sa kanya pong faith po sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, nagpapasalamat din po kami, Father in Heaven, at di niyo po siya pinabayaan, Lord God. Papasalamat po kami at naging successful ang kanyang operation last week. At thank you, Lord, for all the provisions, Panginoon, sa kanya pong needs. Maraming marami pong salamat. Sa oras po na ito, pag-pray naman po natin ang atin pong services, both in Baguio and Bayambang. Father God, we pray for the Sunday work, O Lord God, this coming Sunday. We pray, Father in heaven, for your Lord, for your mighty work, for your mighty moving, Lord, in both Baguio and Bayambang, Panginoon. Dalangin namin, Lord God, ang sustaining grace niyo po, Lord, kina Brother Leo, sa kanila pong pag-hold ng service, Panginoon. Nawa, Lord, ay gamitin niyo lamang, Panginoon, ang ministry na ito, ang gawain ito, Lord, upang lumago, Panginoon, at marami pa pong mga kaluluwa sa Lord, sa Bayambang, ang makakilala po sa inyo. Salamat po, O Jesus. We pray for the service here in Baguio, Lord. We pray for your anointing. We pray, O oh Lord God, for the infilling of the Holy Spirit for everyone. Father in heaven, dinadalangin din po namin, Lord, O oh God, ang Lord God, ang inyong mensahe, Panginoon. Dinadalangin namin, Lord God, na palalimin at patibayin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa aming pong Lord, sa aming pong pagkakakilala sa inyo, ang knowledge namin sa inyo, Lord God, at Dalangin namin, Lord God, na Panginoon, Lord, the message of resurrection, O Lord, will, Lord God, will 
it's really inspire us, O Lord, to live patient lives, confident lives in Christ. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. And lahat ng mga bagong darating, Panginoon, ngayong Sunday, dinadalangin namin, Lord, na sila po ay inyo pong, Lord, kilusan, Panginoon. Patuloy namin dinadalangin, Lord God, na Lord, kayo po, Panginoon, O God, ang magdala pa po, Panginoon, ng mas marami pa pong mga kaluluwa kay Kristo Jesus sa inyong kaharian. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. We pray, Lord, for the entire ministry of Gospel of Grace. We pray, Lord, for all the discipleship groups, Lord. We pray for the IBI class. We pray, Father in Heaven, for all the ministries. Tinataas po namin sa inyo, Lord, ang aming worship team. Tinataas namin sa inyo, Lord, ang ushers. Tinataas po, Lord, na makapagsimula pong muli ang aming pong Sunday school, O Lord God. We pray for volunteers, Lord. We pray for workers who will be part of, Lord God, the Sunday school ministry, Lord Jesus. Dalangin namin, Lord, na makapag-start pong muli, Panginoon, upang makapag-attend pong muli, Lord, ang aming mga families, Lord, na meron pong mga little kids, O God. Salamat, Panginoong Jesus. Lord, we also commit to you, Lord, our members, Father in Heaven. We pray, Father God, Lord, for your will upon your children, O Lord God. Father God, we pray, Lord, that, Father God, we will indeed, Lord, serve as salt and light, O God, wherever, Lord, you have called us. Father, in response to the apologetics class we had last Saturday, this is our prayer that... Wherever, O oh Lord God, whatever gifts you've given to us, may we use it, Lord, to the utmost, Father in heaven, to, Lord, to serve, to love and serve our neighbor, Lord, to do good works, Lord God, so that others will witness Christ's love through us. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will use us, Lord Jesus, as instruments of righteousness. Help us, Lord, to be salt, bring forth, O Lord, what is true, what is righteous, O Lord God. Father God, in our lives and, Lord, in all that we do, gamitin niyo po kami, Panginoon, na tagapagdala ng liwanag, tagapagdala ng asin, Panginoon, sa nabubulok naming mundong ito, O Diyos. Gamitin niyo po ang inyong mga anak, Panginoon, to make a difference, O Lord. Father in heaven, to have a godly, O Lord God, influenced, Lord, to our society. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. Ang mga kapatira naming nananalangin, Lord, para sa calling nila, para po sa kanilang purpose and direction in their lives. We pray, Lord, na, Lord, sila po ay gabayan po ninyo at i-bless nyo po, O Diyos, ang kanila pong mga endeavors, Lord God, Father, to always be a witness for the name of Christ. Thank you, Lord, and use us, Lord, to spread the word. Use us, Lord, to share the hope that we have in Christ. To share, O Lord, the gospel. Salamat po, Panginoon. Father in heaven, tinataas rin po namin, Lord, ang aming pong bansa. Tinataas namin, Lord God, lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, ang aming pong upcoming elections in May. Panginoon, napakagulo po ng bansa namin, Lord, lalong-lalo na po, Lord, sa realm, Lord God, ng Lord, ng government, ng politics, Panginoon. Father in heaven at wala pong iba, Panginoon, O oh God, na maari po naming Lord, hawakan, Panginoon, kundi, O oh Lord God, ang inyo pong faithfulness. Lord Jesus, we pray for our elections at Lord, it will be, Lord, that it will indeed, O Lord God, be, Lord, be established by you. We pray, Lord God, that our elections, Lord, will be, will be safe and it will turn out, O Lord God, Panginoon, uh, it will have honest results, O Lord. Lord, tinadalangin namin ng uh, lahat po ng mga sangay ng 
ng elections, Lord, na, ng gobyerno na magagamit po sa elections, lalong-lalo na po ang COMELEC. Panginoon, we pray, Lord Jesus, na Panginoon, uh, maging, maging maayos po ang pamumuno at pamamalakad, Panginoon, sa aming pong halalan. Gabayan niyo po kami, Panginoon. Ingatan niyo po kami. Let there be a peaceful transfer of power, Father, in heaven after the elections. Father God, salamat, salamat po. And we continue to pray, O Lord, for Lord for the Christians, Lord God, who will be voting. We pray, Lord Jesus, that our vote, O Lord God, will, O Lord God, be a witness, O Lord God, of our Lord of our Christianity, that whether we eat or drink, whatever we do, that it would all be for the glory of God. And we pray, Father in heaven, na uh, isa puso namin, Panginoon, ang mga salita po ninyo, Panginoon, mabaging sa aming pong paghalal, O Lord God. Panginoon, kami po ay gabayan ng inyo pong banal na spirito. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoong Jesus. Nawa hindi po, Panginoon, ang aming pong mga sari-sarili, Panginoon, na Lord, understanding. Sari-sarili, Panginoon, na uh, Panginoon, mga biases po namin, Lord. But help us, Lord, to truly submit, O Lord God, our decisions, O Lord, in accordance, O Lord God, to your word, O God. We pray, Father in heaven, that you will... Continue to use, Lord Jesus, your word, Lord, to remind us, O Lord, what is godly leadership, Father in heaven. Salamat po, Panginoong Jesus. Lord, pinapanalangin namin patuloy, Father in heaven, ang war po sa Ukraine, O Lord, Panginoon. Father in heaven, salamat, Lord God, dahil hindi niyo po pinahihintulot, Lord, na... Lord God, na magtagumpay, Panginoon, ang kaaway o Diyos, Lord God, sa gerang ito, Panginoon. Alam po namin, Lord, na so much has happened, Lord Jesus. So many deaths, Lord God, have happened. And Lord, still we continue, to, Father in heaven, to hold, Lord, the citizens of Ukraine in prayer. We pray for them. We pray for your protection. We pray, Lord Jesus. O oh Lord, O oh God, that in the midst of this war, Lord, we pray, Lord God, na your sovereignty, Lord God, will prevail over men's wishes and plans, Lord. We continue to pray for the defeat, O oh Lord God, of Vladimir Putin and all his cohorts, that you will not allow them, Lord God, to succeed in their evil plans in their evil programs, O Lord. We pray, Father God, that you will, Lord, defend and you will, O Lord God. Panginoon, Lord, you will vindicate Ukraine, O Lord. You will help them, O Lord God, Panginoon. Tulungan niyo po sila sa mga sandaling ito, Lord God. We pray, Father in heaven, na sila po, Lord, ay saklolohan po ninyo, Panginoon. Patuloy po namin dinadalangin, Lord, ang mga Leaders po ng NATO, Panginoon, ang mga Western nations, Father God, sa kanila pong pagkakaisa at sa kanila pong, Lord, mga uh, ginagawang, Lord God, sanctions at pagtulong, Panginoon, sa mga needs, Lord, sa military, Lord God, sa arms and weapons, Lord, Father God, ng Ukraine, O Lord. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. Alam po namin, O Lord God, na matatapos din po ang gerang ito, O Diyos. O Lord, at Lord, we pray that only you, Lord Jesus, will be able, O Lord, to rebuild, Lord God, lives. And Lord, we just pray, Father God, that even in this, Lord, in this, Lord, in this war, Lord Jesus, alam po namin, Lord, that your kingdom it is advancing, Lord God, Lord God, in ways that we do not, do not know. And we continue to pray, Lord Jesus, na kayo po, Lord God, ang kumilos, Lord God, sa mga church, sa mga Christians, Lord God, na patuloy pong, Lord, naghahasik ng inyong salita at patuloy pong nag-witness at nag-minister, Panginoon, sa mga nasawi doon, sa mga namatayan, sa mga Lord, mga, Lord, mga refugees, Panginoon. Oh God, oh God, give them hope, Lord. Give their hearts the hope that only comes, oh Lord God, from Christ. Salamat, salamat, Panginoong Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for tonight. Salamat po, Lord, sa inyo pong 
Pakikinig sa aming mga pananalangin. Our prayers are imperfect, O God. But we thank you, Lord, because, Lord, it is by faith that we bring to you, Lord, all these petitions. It is, Lord, our faith in you who sits on the throne forever and ever and whose throne is called the throne of grace, Lord, that we are, Lord, that we are believing that we shall have answers, Lord, to our prayers. Thank you, Father God, for everyone who joined us tonight. We pray that you will bless each one, Lord, our brothers and sisters, with a restful sleep tonight. And we continue to uh, ask, O oh God, Lord, for your protection, Lord God, uh, health-wise sa bawat isa, Panginoon. Maraming marami pong salamat, O Diyos. At kung ano man po, Lord, ang iba pa po namin mga prayer petitions, Lord God, alam namin, Lord, na kayo po ang sagot at kayo po, Lord God, ang, ang makikinig sa aming mga pananalangin. You shall hear the voice of our supplications. Lord, we pray that this prayer watch, Lord, will Lord, simply be something, Lord God, that would, Lord, that would stir and quicken our spirits to pray some more even after this. Salamat, salamat po, Panginoon. We bless your name, Father. We worship you. We glorify you. We exalt your most holy name, Lord. In the most precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, this is our prayer. Amen and amen. A blessed evening, brothers and sisters. Salamat po sa inyo pong pag-join ngayong gabi sa ating pong prayer watch. Ingatan po kayo ng Panginoon at see you po muli sa ating pong uh, Sunday service at sa atin pong mga iba pa pong mga gatherings online. Salamat po, good night, and God bless.